We're now going to turn our attention to viewing deflections in our model after we've run an analysis. So after we run our analysis, we can then go to the graphical results or numerical results window and look at the low case or combination that we're interested in. We can then choose a deflection tool and view the deflections for every joint in our model, graphically or numerically. We're going to use a floor system model that we looked at in the past for this example. And in this situation, I've already run the analysis, so I can go to the graphical results window. And here I'm brought to the graphical results window where I can look at the results of my model in a graphical format. At the top of the screen, I have the drop down list for my low cases and combinations. You notice here that we can toggle between the low combinations, indicated by this plus sign or the low cases indicated by this P sign. So we can choose which one we'd like to view. I'm going to click on the low combination option right now, and I only have one low combination in my model, so I'll just make sure that's selected. Once I've got that selected, I can then use the deflection tool within the graphical results window. And I left click on this tool, and we can see our deflected shape. And we can also choose to toggle on the display of our numerical values for displacement in different degrees of freedom. Right now, I've toggled on the display of a Z displacement at different joints. So right now, it's showing me my Z displacement at each one of these joint locations. I can right click on a joint and go to Properties. And within this dialog, it's going to show me the displacement of that joint in all six degrees of freedom. I can also look at the X or y-axis displacement, uh, this is translational displacement, or rotation. Now you may notice here that for what appears to be about 61 millimeters of displacement, this deflection diagram is quite large. This is just the default amplification method used for deflection diagrams in S-Train. We can always change that by clicking on this rainbow colored button at the top of the screen. It says Diagram Scale Factors and Styles. And if we click on this button, it's going to open up a dialog that allows us to control how we magnify our diagrams for results. So right now I'm using the Automatic Scale option, which is actually giving me, it's scaling up the display of my deflections relative to the size of my model 76.5 times. So I can also define the scale man manually by going to the user-defined scale. And then it makes this diagram scale factor accessible. And then I can enter whatever value I'd like. I'm going to enter a value of 10. Let's make sure I scroll over there. So I have a value of 10 here. I press OK. And you can see now that this deflection diagram is looking a little bit more realistic. And this might be useful if I want to look at the relative deflections of each low case next to one another. I also have another option here if I reopen this dialog. I can choose specify max projected length. And what that's going to do is it's going to find the joint that displaces the most. And we can just enter exactly how much we'd like that to displace on our screen. So if we took out a ruler, we could measure it. And it would be, in this case here, I've entered 15 millimeters. It would be 15 millimeters. And I'll press OK. And you can see it just changes slightly. So if I looked at this joint here, which is deflecting 61 millimeters, on screen, if I took out a ruler, this would be 15 millimeters. And I actually like this option uh, for its robustness. It works in pretty much any situation uh, where it's not going to cloud my screen with a very large deflection diagram. So this is another great option for you. I'll let you choose whatever one you want. Now we can also view deflections if we go to the numerical results window. Open this one here. We can see that we have a deflection tool. This is a joint displacement spreadsheet where we can actually look at every single joint in our model and for whatever low case or combination we have selected or showing, and we can show more than one, we can see the displacement in all six degrees of freedom and rotation. So I can see these values in a numerical format as well.